G'day guys, um, it's been a little while, hope uh, everyone's safe and well. What I've got here is a um, the base of my 6 inch uh, Gold Rat High Banker. And I'll just go through a few of the little bits and pieces um, that I've done. It's obviously got the um, Gold Rat extension on it now. That's uh, as you can see with the length. Now, it's also set at 11 degrees. Um, that's where I tend to like to run. Um, now, to get it at 11 degrees, what I had to do was use this bottom bracket and adjust it lower. Um, I also had to um, move these bolts instead of using it here on this bolt which would have you know meant that I'm probably another centimeter up I've dropped it down to the two bolts um, that are just like the two holes that's made me um, be able to achieve the 11 degrees I was going to punch a hole in here but um, decided against it. As you can see, there's quite a few holes in this thing already uh, from manufacture, and I didn't want to punch any more into it. We'll have a look at the map and uh, what I've got going on in there because there's a few changes. So down the bottom here, I've got the dream mat. This is normally what I'm running. But up here, I've got a different type of mat with um, some quite a few different types of riffles. So what it has is a little V-mat here. Still probably a little bit deeper than the bunning stuff that you get, but a little V-mat. This one's like a V-mat, but it's a bit larger. Hungarian riffle. The little V mat. Uh, this is just four smaller riffles that are at a 45. Hungarian riffle again. The small V mat. The smaller, say 45 um, angle like riffles. This is the flatter. It's a it's a like a V mat, but it's got a flat top. And this last bit here is almost like a u-shape um which is like which is just a deep hungarian riffle and then obviously back down to the dream mat above that the miner's moss i have one that goes all the way to the back and fits just perfectly where the clamp does um good thing here i can fit this mat um with the original um, high banker um, clamp I do also, you might ask why there's three holes because normally there's only two and the third hole is for um, using the large cell dream mat I've got a piece of dream mat for this top that is also a large cell um, you might be asking why the changes and the changes are simple Conditions change and you know you need different mats for different areas. Sometimes you might want to capture a lot more cons, you might be wanting to capture some gems, or you might just have some material that's just not breaking down properly in the hopper and you want that extended length and something like this where it's riffly, it's gonna jump around. Um might break the material up a little bit better and then rely on the dream mat to catch it. The other thing is, um, I could put another dream mat here, but it's like anything. Um, you try something and if you just keep repeating and repeating and repeating, you know, there's a chance you might miss something. Always got to try something different. Um, I might not catch any gold in here, 
I know I will, but you've just got to take that um, take that risk sometimes. And the other thing is, I want to have something with different stages being able to capture different gold. The other thing this might have picked up is I've got these brackets here. And when I put the hopper on, I'll explain what I've done and why I've done it. Um, while we are here, what I will do, I'll just set this camera down. Now, Okay, so what I've got is just a bit of matting from Bunnings. PVC pipe, a little U-shaped thing. Now what I'm going to be doing with this, and I've only got it mounted in the centre. It's just so that I can slide this in. I can um, put the clamp on, or those end caps on, I should say. And I know people use a flap here, but I've even noticed, even with the flap, it sends bubbles down. Um, I found with this, I did a little test the other day, I found with this, that it wasn't doing that and it was, it was actually working really well. I've obviously got to run some material on that through there just to see what's happening. But it's working well for now. Um, I'll uh, put the uh, hopper on and I'll explain um, what's going on there. Alright guys, um, the hopper's on. Same... Uh, screen and punch plate that I always use uh, that runs all the way to the top and the bottom um, what I've had to do is put me rubber stops on again just to get enough angle um, there's a fair bit there well not a fair it, it, look it's still reasonably like it's hard to tell, it does look like a lot of angle, but when you take the sluice is running at 11, that's probably a little bit less. Um, but what this does here is give me like so much height. And that's what this is about. Give me a little bit more height and the added advantage is I can flip my hopper right up and get in there if I really need to. So uh, that's the other little advantage. What I've um, one thing I didn't cover before. I've just used the wing nut here because I'm not going to cut this in like this. I'm going to pull it apart, and I've just used a wing nut there to uh, hold it together. The two uh, sluices or the sluice high banker and the extension. All right, I'll um, set up some water and I'll demonstrate the difference with this um, little gate that I've uh, put in. G'day guys, got the uh, little high banker set up with the extension. Um, I'll just show you how this mat is uh, looking with some water going over it and the differences between uh, having the gate there and no gate. So I'm running the two 1100 gallon pumps as I normally do. Um, I've had a few comments about having the punch plate above the bottom of the hopper and that the water doesn't really sort of swirl. As you can see there, 
with that amount of water, like down here, you can see it's just barely making it over the punch plate, the water. But then that's feeding, that's going down to where the feed is. Up here, there's enough water and you're still getting that swirling sort of action to uh, break up your material. What this does is hold it there, especially if you're getting a bit of clay. Alright, so I'll go around this side. We'll have a look at uh, this mat. There's the dream mat. And this is my new green little mat. And the gate on this is probably throwing it up a little bit. So I'll uh, lift it out and just see the difference. Actually, haven't tried the gate um, with this mat. I was actually using a dream mat. Ah, oh, you know, the gate's probably not even doing all that much now. I didn't have the miner's moss um, in my last test. Actually, quite happy with that. Quite happy how it's running. Especially in conjunction with the dream mat. Um, yeah, no, it's looking, it's looking quite good. I'm uh, quite happy. I'll just lift this down. Just so you can have a good look at the difference. Yeah, actually, look, I don't even mind that flicking up a bit like that. I'll just, I'll move it back a little bit. Yeah, no, look, that's not too bad. Either way, probably don't even need to have it there. To tell you the truth. Um, yeah, no, look, probably don't even need to have it there. When I was running the Dream Mat, it seemed to be uh, working really well. Alright, I'll uh, leave it there and uh, hopefully we'll be out somewhere pretty soon and uh, doing a field test on all this. Till the uh, next time, I'll um, catch you all later. All right guys, uh, got the uh, high bank just set up. What I've done is um, taken the moss out and I've taken that um, gate that I was uh, playing around with out as well. I wanna run a little bit of material just so I can have a look and just see how this mat actually goes. I'll um, plug this in. Now what I'm going to do first is just have one 1100 gallon pump. And just see what that looks like. Uh, as you can see, coming down. You can sort of see those areas just here, just over there. We're creating a bit of a pull, one up the top as well there. So, that's one pump. Now, this can run like this. I know the Dream Mat can. I'm assuming the Top Mat could as well. The other thing, you just look up here calling at that last riffle. Um, that's a Hungarian riffle at the base there. Probably not perfectly, perfectly flat, but it's good enough. Now, I'll chuck the other pump on.
Now we've got uh, 2,200 gallons of water. I'm going to get my uh, daughter to feed into the uh, high banker and we'll see what happens. Just tip the whole lot in. So there wasn't a lot of uh, material. Yeah, let's have a look and uh, see what's happening. So that uh, mat holding looks like some heavies just how black it is in there there was a lot of black sand in this material green mats pretty much full as well probably holding some stones some larger stones than uh, the top mat what I'll do is I'll turn this off I just want to see I'll do it here. I just want to see um, if this mat spits anything out when I um, turn it off. Now oh, look, it seems to have um, held pretty well. All right, we'll have a look up here. So, there's some fine gravel. I reckon that might be a bit of gold right there in the middle. Right in the centre of the screen. So I can zoom in. I don't know, maybe. Maybe not. It looked it looked like it uh on the screen or looking through the screen. I'll work our way down. Seems to be um holding some material. I'm happy with that. At least it's doing something. I um green mat. So got some gravels there. Just where the clamp is, the top cell's pretty full. There's um as I said the larger stones that I could see that were still getting held and it's just chockers full of uh, black, black sand. What I will do is, um, just, just to see more than anything, if there is any gold, there might not be any gold in this, in these cons. Um, but just to see if anything got down in the dream mat, and just to see if this uh, top mat caught anything if you're wondering where to get these mats um i think the only place in victoria that do sell them is um lucky strike in geelong it's the mats for a 10 inch sluice and then it has a groove in it to be able to cut it into an eight and i've just cut it down to a six so i've got a bottom it actually keeps coming down the mat down um, there's another section probably say from from here down it just repeats itself 
um, I didn't want to have that that long I wanted to use the dream mat at the base I am also going to um, use um, some expanded mesh so I'm just trying to source some at the moment and it's not the little expanded mesh it's the larger sort of stuff and you just try that with some miners moss as I said different locations different things if I want to capture gems and things like that I want to be able to um, capture more cons and this way um, been you know changing different styles of mats I'll always probably run the dream mat at the base but this is more about trying things testing um, and just you know doing something a little bit different hope you have uh, enjoyed it hope you are all safe and well and I uh, hope to see you out on the creek soon all right guys um this is uh what i captured in the uh dream map so you should be able to see some little tiny specks of gold a few bigger pieces about here so a few bigger bits there and then all the way along there so um that's not bad i'll do the green map we'll see what happens All right, guys, um, I've uh, pulled the top mat out. This gold is fine. I mean, super, super fine. Those little bumps that you can see, um, now they're black sand. So you can just sort of see how small this gold is. I'm happy with that. Now, I did lose gold. Now, why is, why is there more gold here? Well, this map was first, obviously. So, um, the map will work, but I did have some losses. But just remember, never run the map before, and I am running the map at 11 degrees, which is pretty damn aggressive. I could probably back it down to 9. Um, that way I could probably get this map running better and have the dream map running the water flow for it is good. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to pull all the clamps out. I'm going to wash the actual sluice out and just see if there's anything captured by the clamps because I wasn't going to add that up um, into each mat. All right, guys, um, this is the gold that was found um, once I cleaned everything out. So I just washed down the sluice, took all the clamps out, and a few more little bits of gold. Um, yeah, quite interesting that um, even just the clamps and everything else holds some gold. I'm going to just tack a little video on the end of this of a uh, axe head that I found at Blackwood. I believe it was the first meetup. Went for a little bit of an explore and have a look at where they had been digging. Looked like they'd done some hydraulic sluicing there. And this axe head was um, just in the fork of a tree. Obviously someone with the detectors probably um, either um, pulled it out of the creek and chucked it and then someone else has chucked it and somehow it's just ended up in the fork of this tree well and truly above the um, water line and I picked it up and thought look this is just going to get destroyed and vanish see if I can um, clean it up and try and uh, stop it decaying anymore so I hope you enjoy that see you later alright guys I um found this axe head oh, maybe a year ago and just been looking at it a little bit and noticed it's full of gravels so in this uh, I've been chipping away at it there there's all the stuff in the, uh, in the pan I'm going to um, chip the rest of this stuff out this is what you do I'm cleaning out all my uh, prospecting gear having a look what I've got and uh, sorting it all out seeing as we're in lockdown so I um, thought I'd give this a bit of a chip and um, 
pan it in, see if there's any gold in it. All right, this is um, the gravels that were that I went through. I'll just show you the screen. So I don't know, like a little dim sim frying thing that I use. The holes are, you know, sort of a bit bigger than a kitchen strainer. Um, yeah, so I thought, ah, oh, you know, why not? Uh, more ironstone, the host rock that's there. Um, some little tiny bits of quartz. And <laughs> uh, I wouldn't believe this unless I actually did it. There's... One, two, three bits of gold. They're only tiny. So one's right. I'll chuck it in the center of the screen. Get it to wait. See if I go in a bit closer. All right. So one there. Another little bit there. A bit there. Maybe two little bits there. Maybe one bit and a smaller bit. Another bit right up there. That's just hilarious. I, uh, as I said, if someone was putting this up on YouTube and I seen it, I'd go, that's BS. But this is quite amusing. It's um, actually did happen. Don't know what that is. That's something strange. I'll have a look at that. Might be a bit of metal off um, the actual axe. But, um, yeah, quite amusing. Alright. I'll probably just tack this on to another video. But, um, something just totally out there.